Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you the brand new Hone Rolling Knife Sharpener Pro Accessories Kit. The Hone Diamond Rolling Knife Sharpener comes with a base set. This is the base set. This is a 400 and a 1000 grit diamond disc that you roll across your knife edge. I've got a lot of videos on the Hone Sharpener. Go ahead and check out the rest of my channel and do a search on Hone and you'll see all the videos. This is exciting. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the entire kit but this is a kit that's gonna do it all from a 200 grit disc all the way up to the 3000 grit ceramic honing disc. Let's take a look inside and see what comes in the box. Right away you'll notice on top is the beautiful new hone leather strop as well as a nice embossed hone leather logo. This thing is absolutely stunning. Now this is gonna be used as your final step in your sharpening process. Whenever you sharpen a knife, the last thing you should be doing is your leather strop. This will come after the honing process. We'll talk about that in just a minute. For those of you that know about knife sharpening, this video is really designed for the home cook, the average person, your grandma, your grandpa, your parents that want to sharpen a knife or maybe haven't thought about sharpening a knife because they thought it was dangerous when they can get their hands on something like this and sharpen all the knives in their kitchen. As a chef and a pit master, I think it's really important for people to understand that sharp knives are safe knives and dull knives are dangerous knives. You'll hear it a lot, but I can't tell you how many times I've cut myself on a dull knife and that's because that knife doesn't bite into what you're cutting and slips off and you end up cutting yourself. And inside comes two really nice holders that hold the discs and the accessories that you get with this sharpener. So as you open up these, kind of like a shoe can, high quality metal, which I love, and it's a screw top, so you don't have to worry about it falling open. Open this up and inside you'll have a set of discs in each one of these that are made for the rolling sharpener. This comes on this pack with a number one disc, this is the 400 disc. We then come with a number two disc, which is the 1000 disc. So now you have your extra discs where if you ever wear down the double-sided discs that are the 400 and the 1000 on the sharpener, you'll have a spare set to put on. The next thing that comes, and this is what we've been waiting for, is the 700 grit disc. This is gonna be your immediate grade disc. You'll go from a 400 to a 700. We'll refine that apex and then we'll move on to the 1000. In the next container, we have the 200 grit disc. This 200 grit disc is gonna let you take a knife that's really badly sharpened, maybe even slightly damaged, take off a lot of metal fairly quickly so you can start working on that sharpening process instead of rolling back a sharpener with a much higher grit for a long period of time and not getting much results. In addition, you have ceramic disc. This lets you do the entire knife from start to finish. And we're gonna show you how it's done with this kit so you can understand the different grits, why I use the different grits, and we'll do some testing to show you the before and after results using the best tester, which you've seen in all my videos. If you've watched them, if not, take a look. And I have a brand new improved graph and chart that will show you the sharpening levels to make it easy to understand. I wanna thank some of my followers for dropping that comment in and saying that some of the charts were pretty complicated. Could I make it easier to understand? And the answer is yes. Thanks again for the comment. Make sure you drop a comment below subscribe and like this channel, and I'll look forward to doing more videos to teach you more knife sharpening for the average person that wants to learn how to sharpen knives without getting into really deep dives, although we will do some deep diving down the road when it comes to burrs and honing, but that's a whole different series. It's much more involved, so I wanna keep things at the basic level. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the discs out of all of the packaging, and we'll close up the box, which, by the way, this is a beautiful box. I mean, they, they really did a good job. This is a hard top, it's a magnetic closure, and it has everything to put inside your strop and the extra discs. So I would advise to keep this. And if you're giving it as a gift, it's a fantastic gift box. Now this is the base unit that comes with the 400 grit and the 1000 grit numbered number one and number two. You also get the base, which has the small knife sharpener sides for the 15 and the 20 degrees. And it has the larger knife sharpening sides with the 15 and 20 degrees. Now this knife was damaged badly. If you look at my other videos, how I damaged the knife, I use basically, it looks like a brick which is a flattening stone for my whetstones. And I take this knife and I rub it back and forth on there at different angles, slide it back and forth, and really destroy this edge. This knife feels like it's not really sharp. And I think that we're gonna go ahead and find out when we do the best test, this knife is gonna be extremely dull. Now for this test, we'll use the best tester. I'm not gonna explain anything with the best testers in other videos. Let's go ahead and do our test and see what our score is on this knife. Twelve hundred and ninety-five, one thousand 
295. Now 1295 shows it's a severely rolled and actually damaged edge. And in addition, if you look at the chart over here, it says it needs professional sharpening. That means that just a basic sharpener to the house that most people have, it's not gonna get this knife sharp. You either have to take it to a professional sharpener and have it sharpened by them, or you need to use something like the Hone Diamond Rolling Sharpener with the accessories kit to take you up to the level where this knife can be restored to razor sharpness. Razor sharpness is anything under 200. 50, you're talking a double-edged razor blade, and anything that's 350 to 300 is typically considered factory sharpening. So let's go ahead and start with the 200 grit because this thing is so badly damaged, we're gonna need to take off quite a bit of metal. We wanna start shaving the apex. Right now, that top looks like this under a microscope. I will be getting a microscope that's on order so I can show you in close-up detail what these blades look like when they're damaged and as we move along. So stay tuned to my future videos because we're gonna show you a lot more in-depth images when it comes to the diamond sharpening process and how we take a damaged knife to a razor sharp knife. So we're gonna move our best tester out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find our 200 grit. Now, a lot of people ask, how do you know what to sharpen this at? Should you do a 15 degree or a 20 degree? 15 degrees is traditional for the Eastern knives and 20 degrees is traditional for the Western knives. However, manufacturers have started changing up their angles based on new results, new testing, uh, people's likes and dislikes. I personally love a 17 degree angle, but because this only does 15 and 20 for now, and only for a couple weeks. This is not a test. Because they have a big announcement coming out where you're gonna be able to do any angle, that's right, any angle with this sharpening system. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a 20 degree. So here we have the 20 degree small knife section. We'll go ahead and put this on the small knife section at 20 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and sharpen this up which really at this point, we're not really sharpening. We're gonna take metal off. And we wanna basically take off all the rough burr on the edges. Let's go ahead and see if we can see this close up at all. We're gonna go ahead and start with a 20 degree. And again, people ask, well, how long does it take? How many passes do you do? And it's really gonna be something you figure out with experience because every knife is different. And without getting into super scientific detail, we've got different steels. You got the stainless steels, you've got VG10, you've got the CR MOV15, on and on and on. You also have the knife. How is it damaged? What does the edge look like? There's so many factors on this that I just can't give an answer. But I will tell you that it doesn't take too long. It could take up to 20 minutes on something. Maybe it's really bad. It can be something that's as quick as five minutes. It's all gonna depend on where this knife is at. Now at 1,295, we're gonna go ahead and see how we can get this sharp without taking an hour to do it. Obviously, you can spend as much time as you want. And we're gonna turn it over and do 10 on the other side. And again, remember, anything you do, you want it to be even on both sides. So we'll do 10. We'll turn it over, we'll do another 10. And another 10. I start with 10 just to get the real rough stuff off. Now we're gonna go 20 real quick. I'm gonna turn it over and do another 20. Now this is a brand new grit, so I will give you a heads up on this. It's gonna be really rough initially because it's from the factory, so the ridges on here are probably up a little bit with the impregnated, uh, the diamond that's on here. But over time, and I'm talking a couple sharpenings, this actually will still be rough, but it's not gonna be as, as really like grinding sounding, but of course if you have a really bad knife and it's flattened really badly and you have this huge burr, you're gonna get that sound, but don't panic, it's fine. It's gonna be sharp when we get done. So now we're gonna go down again and we're gonna finish off with 10. And then we're gonna move on from the 200 to the 400 grit. Again, no right or wrong answer. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that at least this, all the rough stuff is off of here. I don't see any like huge jagged mountains on the top, which I did before. And it did take a lot of that metal off and it's actually starting to shape it where we get the apex, uh, which is the very tip here. And that is our cutting edge on the blade. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and sticking with the 20 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch this and we're gonna go to the number one. And this is your 400 grit diamond disc. So on this one, I'm gonna go 20 on each side. That's where I'm gonna start. 
20 on the other side. Now, what you can see on here is you can actually see the steel coming off on this holder. Okay, that's gonna be normal because we're actually taking off metal. So you've got those metal shavings. If it builds up, you can just wipe it off real quick and get rid of that. Go ahead and do it again. That's 20, it happens really fast. We'll flip it over. One more 20. Then we're gonna go to 10. Flip it over for another 10. Then we're gonna flip it over and do three. And I do one on each side and that will be an equal edge as we continue to build the apex up on this knife. Give it a wipe off. And now we're gonna go from the 400 grit up to the 700 grit. Now, before I had to jump from the 400 to 1,000, which it'll work. Um, it isn't ideal in the sense that I like to step up the sharpening as we go along. And now we're gonna go ahead and get the 700 disc, do 20 on each side. Not a lot of pressure, just make sure it's up against the knife. And as you can see, there's no scratches on the knife itself. It's just hitting the very edge of the blade. So you don't have to worry about it scraping your knife. 20. We'll go ahead and turn over again. We're gonna go to 10, 10, five, five more, three, final three, and one on each side. And that's kind of the pattern that I do. Um, I found that works really well. You can do whatever you want. There is no right or wrong way to do this unless you have the knife positioned incorrectly, which is nearly impossible using the holder. Now on this 700, I'm looking here at the edge and I can see that all that real rough top now looks pretty smooth. The other thing that somebody will probably comment is, well, you didn't check for the burr. I do that on the other videos. I rub my thumb up and I see if I can catch the burr. Now, the one thing that I've learned in doing some studying with burrs and primary burr, secondary burr, the burr root, is that you will have a burr that you may not even be able to feel. And that's something they show you under a microscope. So there are burrs. When you sharpen one side, it is generating a burr, however slight it might be, but there is a burr that usually is there at the very edge of the apex. So we're gonna go ahead and change this 700 and we're gonna go to the 1000. So we're gonna go now to the number two disc, which is the 1000. You can use any side because they're double-sided. And remember, we went from the 200, taking off a lot of metal, to the 400, then we went to the 700. Now we're on the 1000. Now for the 1000, because we're getting up into that finer grit, we're gonna spend a little more time on this because we're really gonna start bringing this down, not necessarily to a polish, but to a really nice smooth edge before we take it up to the ceramic and actually do our honing. So now we're gonna do the 1000 and we're gonna do 30 on each side to start on the 1000. Turn it over, we'll do another 30. Now we're gonna turn it over and go 20. It's 20, we'll go 20 on the other side. Now we're gonna go 10 on each side. Under these conditions, I'm doing this for a video, I'm doing it quickly. I'm probably gonna spend more time on this just because I wanna get this really razor sharp on my good knives. These are the practice knives, which actually, quite frankly, they're sharp as hell when you sharpen them. I get them down to 50 on the best tester, so they're razor sharp. And I don't really use them a lot as far as cutting for food, so I don't know how long it really lasts, but they dull up and they sharpen really well. So we're gonna go ahead now and go back to our 1000 and we're gonna finish off with five on each side and then we'll turn it over to our three and our one. Now real quick, this is to demonstrate the process. This is not to tell you this is how long it takes and look at the results we got. The results might go from 1290 to 500 or 400. That means we have more work to do and we did not spend enough time sharpening the knife. So again, there's a lot of factors. This is merely a demonstration to show you the process and then you'll learn over time what it takes based on what you feel, what you see, and what you hear. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. I answer all comments that are respectful and I love interacting and discussing knife sharpening. So now we're gonna go on to the ceramic disc, which is a 3000 grit equivalent. And the one thing I wanna comment on real quick is the ceramic, it will get black as you use it. You can wipe it off all you want. It's gonna stay black. There's a cleaning video I'll be doing on how to clean all these discs. So you'll be able to see 
how to clean these properly. We're not going to get into that today, but it is something I know people have asked, and I'm going to go ahead and cover that in an upcoming video. Now, for the ceramic disc, the 3000, again, people ask, how much do you do? There's no right or wrong answer, but on this one, you really can't go too long because you're not really sharpening at this point. You're honing that apex and that edge to polish it. So the amount of metal you take off would be so minute that you wouldn't really detect it and it's not gonna harm the knife. So on this one, I may go 30 times. Now, if my knife is really sharp, I do this about 10 times on each side every time I use a knife and that's it. If you hone a knife regularly, and this should be on your sharpener all the time once you're done with the sharpening your knife because this is the side you're going to want to use all the time. And I would recommend to keep the 1000 disc on this side. If you have a knife that's getting dull, you only have to really hone the knife and it will bring it back to keep that edge aligned again after you get a rolled edge and it will be sharp again and you'll be able to cut with no problem. If after a certain amount of time, the knife gets dull where you realize the honing isn't working, go hit it with the 1000 give it 15 or 20 hits on each side, then go ahead and do a honing and you'll be good to go. There really is a need to go down to a 200 or 400 often, especially if you have your knife that's really sharp. In many cases, I never go below a 600 or in this case, a 700 is probably where I would always start to a 1000. So those other discs are fantastic because you can take a really damaged knife and build it up like we're doing today. But for knives that are fairly sharp, you won't need to go and switch these discs all the time. So we did our 30 or so on this side. Now we're gonna go 30 and flip it over on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over one more time. I feel a little roughness right back there. So it's really smooth up here, but I feel where I had a lot of damage in the back. I still feel a little, little bit, it's not like really buttery smooth. And so that part, the very back, I could have worked on a little bit more. Turn it over. Now we're gonna go and just wipe that off. And you can see the steel coming off on this. Um, don't worry about it, just wipe it off. And this actually still is a little bit of metal in there and I'll show you how to clean it again in, in the future video. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do 10 on this side. This is merely for this video, for the demonstration. And we'll do one more time and we're done. And now it's really smooth. So all that slight micro abrasion or that little burr on there is all getting removed. And the goal is to get it down where the root burr is aligned so that you don't have that bottom burr sticking out. That's what the honing does as well. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to strop our knife using this beautiful leather strop that comes with the Hone Pro Accessories Kit. Now to strop your knife, I'm not going to really get into stropping and all the details because that's a whole other video. I'm going to go ahead and strop the knife now and that will be our final step before we do our final testing. And what we're doing now is we're actually polishing that edge any micro abrasion, any micro micro abrasion is going to be gone. It's going to be taken off. And you really can't over strop. Um, what you can do though, is you can actually dull your knife again if you don't know how to strop properly. So make sure you watch the other videos on stropping so that you don't cause this knife blade to go dull. When you do strop, you do not want to use a lot of pressure. If you use a lot of pressure, you're going to cause the leather to kind of buckle up in there. And it's actually going to then remove that nice clean polished edge and start causing an issue where you'll start to unsharpen it. Some people like to hold the block like this and do it this way, which is okay, however you're comfortable doing it. Um, I like to lay it down. You can put it on a towel, however you want, as long as it's not moving around. And uh, this is a granite countertop. It's really slippery, but this does a pretty good job with this non-slip base. If you do have a slipping problem, just get a towel and put it down. Um, but if it moves a little bit, it's not gonna really cause a problem. And this holds pretty good. Again, even on both sides, no matter how you do it, if you do 15 or 10, you want to switch it over and do 15 or 10 on the other side. And then you're going to go and finish it off with a couple on each side. And then I do my final passes. Now we're going to clean it off and see how do we do on sharpening this knife. My expectations are always low. I don't think that it'll be razor, double razor sharp, but I think it's going to be pretty sharp. And now our final best test, we were at 1,279. Let's go and see what we got this knife down to. It was a very quick process. I would have spent more time on this, but let's just see how it went for just maybe five minutes of sharpening. Three hundred and twenty-six. That is factory sharpness. Oops. So we took this from one thousand two hundred and seventy-nine, a completely unusable knife, 
one that was dangerous that could very easily cut you if you're using it, to a factory sharp edge, which is, remember, between 300 and 350. If I work on this more, I could absolutely get this down to a 50 because that's how I get these knives when I'm off camera and using the various techniques. But as you can see, the results are pretty incredible for how short of a time we did this. You have all the discs in the Pro Accessories Kit to do this, including the honing disc at 3000 ceramic. And if you have any questions, drop it down below and we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby!